Hey guys, hope your week was great. It's Friday. We made it through the week. We got a great weekend coming up. The weather's been great where I'm at. Hopefully it's great where you're at too. Um, just want to give you a little update of what we're doing here on the channel. Uh, Garrett sent over a package he put together of parts along with a brand new SKX009 that I'm going to modify for him. And I'm a little excited to do this one because it's something that's a particular um, design that he put together that I've never seen done and I've looked at many modded SKX um, and there's you know you can implement your own taste and with all the possibilities that are out there there's still mods that haven't been done like combinations that have not been done so here his um, on the on your right on the screen is the 009 that he sent over. This is my 009. Um, his bezel action is uh, quite a bit looser than mine. Um, it's fine. It's a little looser than I like, but that goes back to a previous video that I made when I specified with, um, say, Mark at Long Island. When you order from a boutique, you can uh, you know re do a special request and hopefully they can accommodate you. This one's a little stiffer. You can tell um, just by the way I'm rotating it versus this one I think it might have been an eBay or an Amazon one um, it's just a, a little looser and um, you know Garrett might be fine with that or maybe I can rectify that or alter that in some way whatever his preference is I'll try um, but I want to cover the parts that he sent over real quick you're looking at a really cool I don't know if you can see that yeah you should be able to see that like a blacked out I believe this is ceramic with a loom pip. Um, very cool stealth-like blacked out uh, insert we're going to put in there. You have a, I believe, I didn't pull this out of the package or check this out. And I'll go over all the details when I do the mod video. But I'm pretty sure this is some sort of flat sapphire crystal with the gasket. Um, again, I'll verify that when I go to do the mod. Um, this is a really cool, and I think this is going to be, this along with the bezel and some of the pop of color I'm going to show you here in a second, I think are, we're going to make this watch really stand out from the norm. He has a matte black dial with the day date cut out, which um, once I initially went over the parts, I said, hey Garrett, the 009 comes with the white day date do you want to go with a black such as you know what comes on the um, 171 or some other models and uh, he said absolutely but he was having a hard time finding it so I'm pretty sure under my quick research that the like the SNK model like the um, the smaller you know 5 series when you order like the, what is it, the SNK 809 or something like that, it comes with a black day-date wheel and it's still a 7S26 movement. I'm pretty sure I can harvest the day-date wheel out of that and install it onto this movement. And then that with that, it'll give them the black day-date um, wheels on that black dial. It's going to look really good. But then additionally, we're going to take this 009 dial and day date wheel and install it onto the SNK which will create a whole new modded watch for him to play around with as well so we're you know it's um, kind of a little trick way of getting you know the day date wheel which would normally probably cost you if you could even find it maybe twenty to thirty dollars when you just go ahead and spend like fifty some dollars and then you swap some parts and stuff like that now you're gonna get two watches out of that deal so he ordered a really cool, you guys all know I'm a big fan of the orange, but a really cool orange chapter ring there that's going to go in there with that, with that black. That's going to look sick. And then a orange seconds hand, which has the lightning bolt design to it. Those aspects of this build are going to really pop on all that black. Um, now I think a lot of people would probably consider like doing a black bezel and um, Cerakoting or something, the case and everything. I really like the contrast of the polished and brushed 
along with the black and the pop of orange, I think it's going to give a multi-layer effect of, um, you know, multiple colors. So you're going to have like the the silver color along with the, the matte black and then the pop of orange. I think it's going to look trick. And then he's got a really cool NATO strap that he picked out. Um, I may try to source a um, another uh, Uncle Seiko's razor wire. I don't know if uh, Garrett's big into that. Um, I think that or even the stock Jubilee would look really good on there as well. But again, I, um, I'm not sure if Garrett's uh, big into the metal bracelets. Maybe he is uh, solely looking for the NATO aspect where you can really play with some colors. And that's the pros with NATOs. You can really play with some colors with some black and orange and whatever color combinations you want to do there. Or you could even do some um, leather. You know, I um, I have a, like a NATO over here that's uh, like a gray and orange. This is a really good color combo that could work with there. I mean, you can really make it many different watches in one when you change out the strap. But there's some custom strap makers out there too that you could do some leather with uh, some orange stitching on it. It would make it pop. So the possibilities are endless. And hopefully by me modding this with Garrett's design or taste aspects, to this SKX, we can show that you know this is an excellent, excellent platform to um, you know get your own design out there and make it your personal watch on your wrist. So and um, you know anywhere from the far low end, you know where you're going to have like just over two hundred dollars into it, all the way up to where you can have you know over a thousand dollars into them. Uh, I'm hoping to get some of those featured on the channel too soon where you can um, see some over the top you know mods that uh, not a whole lot of people are into but when you go extreme there are some really cool extreme design features out there for that so I'll see you guys on the next video I'll try to get one out tomorrow I got a lot packed in for tomorrow as well but I still have a ton of videos I need to make you know, I still haven't messed around with that metal G-Shock. Um, and then, I don't know. I got other stuff laying around too. I'll, I'll get some more videos out soon. So I'll see you in the next bit.